Microorganisms comprise the overwhelming majority of life forms on Earth. The diversity of microorganisms reflects an astounding array of functions providing the services that are necessary for all other life to exist. And so it seems, microbes run the world. It's that simple. Although we can't usually see them, microbes are essential for every part of human life. Indeed, all life on Earth. Every process in the biosphere is touched by the seemingly endless capacity of microbes to transform the world around them. The chemical cycles that convert the key elements of life, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur, into biologically accessible forms are largely directed by and dependent on microbes. All plants and animals have closely associated microbial communities that make necessary nutrients, metals, and vitamins available to their hosts. Microorganisms drive most of the chemical cycles on Earth. They process waste, promote growth, and reproduction of plants and animals. In addition, microbes serve human beings by producing drugs, fermenting food, and maintaining our health. How do we know so much about microbes if they are not even visible to the eye? In the late 18th century, the microscope became a popular invention among scientists. It made us aware of the existence of microbes by making microbes visible. The development of laboratory cultivation methods that followed taught us how few microbes make their livings as individuals. Microbes were studied by focusing on a pure culture of a single species. This enabled scientists to study microbes. However, it is unnatural because the microbes were grown in artificial media without ecological context. Almost all knowledge about microbes today is largely laboratory knowledge attained in the unusual and unnatural circumstances of growing them optimally in artificial media in pure culture without ecological context. However, microorganisms live in communities. Each individual is part of a larger whole. And just like a puzzle, every piece is needed in order to be complete. Within communities, microorganisms compete for nutrients and space and also cooperate to accomplish functions that one species could not do on its own. Because of their ubiquity and centrality to life, microbial communities demand our attention. Culturing has been the main practice in microbiology for over a century, but it has also resulted in gaps in knowledge about the myriad microorganisms that cannot be cultured individually. The science of metagenomics, only a few years old, will make it possible to investigate microbes in their natural environment, the complex communities in which they normally live. What is metagenomics? Let's begin by defining it. The word meta is the Greek word for transcendence, and the word genomics is used to describe the total hereditary material contained in an organism. This field of study seeks to understand biology as a whole. It transcends past the individual organism and focuses on the gene in the community. It seeks to understand how genes might influence each other's activities in serving a collective function. Metagenomics is a field of research that is meant to complement cultured research on individual microbes and their genomes. Metagenomics involves extracting DNA directly from the environment. This DNA is known as metagenomes. The DNA is extracted directly from all the microbes in a living particular environment. For example, all the DNA from seawater, from the soil, from the human gut. Then, the first step of that is to isolate the DNA. A sample is collected representing the environment under investigation. The sample then contains many different types of microorganisms, the cells of which may be broken open using chemical methods such as alkaline conditions or physical methods such as sonication. Once the DNA from the cells is free, it must be separated from the rest of the sample. This is accomplished by taking advantage of physical and chemical properties of DNA. Some methods of DNA isolation include density centrifugation, affinity binding, and solubility precipitation. Metagenomic DNA is complex since it is a pool of genomes from many different organisms. 
Making analysis challenging, it can be captured and maintained in a surrogate host, such as E. coli, in order to study further. This creates a library of genomes of all the microbes found in that one particular environment. The library consists of millions of clones, each containing a random fragment of DNA. The library content can be studied either by analyzing the nucleotide sequence of the clone DNA or by determining what the clone genes can do when they are expressed as proteins. Basically, the two methodological approaches to studying the genomes are either sequence-driven or function-driven. Sequence-driven metagenomics involves sequencing the DNA from the environment of interest and then subjecting it to computational analysis. The metagenomic sequence is compared to sequences already known in the library of genomes. The genes are then collected into groups of similar predictable functions and types of proteins that conduct those functions can be assessed. In function-driven metagenomics, the DNA is extracted from the environment and is also stored in a surrogate host. But instead of sequencing it, scientists screen the captured fragment of DNA, or clones, for a certain function. The function must be absent in the surrogate host so that the acquisition of the function can be attributed to the metagenomic DNA. Genotypic analysis is usually performed after phenotypic analysis. A typical metagenomic analysis involves several subsequent rounds of the procedure in order to definitely isolate the target genes from the environment sample and to effectively characterize the information encoded by the DNA sequence. The information gained from metagenomic procedure provides information regarding the structure, organization, evolution, and the origin of DNA, and can be scientific applications for the benefit of the society and environment. Many microorganisms have the ability to degrade waste products, make new drugs for medicine, make environmentally friendly plastics, or even make some of the ingredients in foods we eat. By isolating the DNA from the organisms, it provides us with the opportunity to optimize these proce processes and adapt them for use in our society. As a result of ineffective standard laboratory culture techniques, the potential wealth of biological resource in nature, like microbes, is relatively untapped, unknown, and uncharacterized. Metagenomics represents a powerful tool to access the abounding biodiversity of native environmental samples. The valuable property of metagenomics is that it provides the capacity to effectively characterize the genetic diversity present in samples regardless of the availability of laboratory culturing techniques. Information from metagenomic libraries has the ability to enrich the knowledge and application of many aspects of the industry, therapeutics, and environmental sustainability. This information can be applied to society in an effort to create a healthy human population that lives in balance with the environment. Metagenomics is a new and exciting field of molecular biology that is full of promise and uncertainty. It provides a window on a world that was unseen before. So it is hard to predict what will be found. A certainty is that it will expand our view of bio biological diversity of the world. It also promises to provide a more complete understanding of global cycles that keep the biosphere in balance, offer new clues to the basis for many diseases, lead to the development of new antimicrobial therapies and present solutions to the environmental challenges of today. Metagenomics is just beginning and is likely to be a continuously growing field.